So is this good luck or bad luck? Starting my trip off this morning and my truck that I need to move is showing 2.3 on the uh, voltage meter. So something drained this battery. We'll see if my new Hulkman battery jumper will work. Brand new, never used, but fully charged. Well, the interesting thing is, is that it's saying the polarity is reversed, but it only goes in one way, and this is not reversed, so something's going on. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to start it. Well, nothing inside, and I believe if you press these two, it does a super start function. There we go. Let's see what happens. Immediately, I see we have some lights and sound. Let's see what happens. Well, it started up, but didn't keep going. And now it's dead. So we'll see if what we can do to reset it. Let's go back to double press. Back to ready. One more time. It is not remaining started. So hopefully it's not something wrong with my truck and the charging system. Unless the battery is so drained, it can't even keep it functioning. This is really strange because the battery is not old. There must have been some sort of drain going on when I last parked it. It's only been about four or five days. Interesting. Not a great start to my little trip. So, very strange, but you can see this is a couple starts. It's down to 92, and it will not stay running. I keep having to gas it, and it'll immediately shut off if I let off the throttle. So, I believe the battery is just so low, it's not even being able to give it a charge to maintain, I suppose, but very strange. All right, so here's the, another try, and I'm gonna have to give it throttle to keep it idling. Well, or not even do that, looks like. Wow, not good. All right. Definitely have to keep the gas on it. But it started, so that Hulkman works. This was a completely dead battery. That's 100% sure. It wasn't even reading on my voltmeter. So something had happened in here. It was doing one of those ghost draws, but that little battery charger works. That's for sure. This is a 5.3 liter, so it had no issues. I'm gonna have to figure out why that's happening and see if we can keep it from happening again. But hey, I think I'll be able to get on my trip. Well, I got it to idle, and those, what, four or five attempts just brought it down to 88, so, so far this thing has paid off. Imagine that, I bought it for my trip, and I'm using it just to get out of my driveway.
I am now in the Santa Rosa Mountain National Monument, and this is exactly two hours away from San Diego, where I started. So I am going to head up the Santa Rosa Mountain Trail. That's the uh, Santa Rosa Mountain Truck Trail. Should be about half an hour, and the elevation gain should be a couple thousand feet. I will see you when I get to the pine trees. I don't expect much as far as bad roads or anything like that, but I'm going to lock the hubs just in case there's a couple of slippery spots. And this will be no problem getting up there. So far so good. The views are incredible and the trail is pretty mellow. I'm sure if there was ice or if it was wet it'd be a little difficult but I'm having no issues. like a chaparral high desert. You can see there's some of the uh, oaks in here. Uh, these are most likely, I believe, the live oaks. Or they do well up in this zone. And you can see straight ahead is the peaks up there and that's full of pine trees. So this is a part where you feel like you're getting up into elevation. I am pretty much in the tree line. Uh, there's the canyon that runs through and there's definitely some tall pines in there. All up on that ridge is pure pine trees. Here we go right into the little canyon. Oh this is nice little tunnel of oaks. Very beautiful drive. And it looks like we're gonna go through the low spot here where I'm sure water runs after the rains or the snow melt. It's a nice cool area in here. Wow, temperature's nice and cool in here. This is a quick stop here. This is the beginning of elevational forest. I'm sitting in a wash here. Dry right now, of course, because there's no rain or snow, but there are some nice sized oaks, some good pine trees in here, and it is much cooler. It smells like forest as well. So this spot here is pretty awesome. Views to the southwest and west, and it's still pretty clear out today. A little windy. Well, we have a major issue here. Looks like transmission is leaking out pretty nice. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to turn around. Not much of a trip. 
but we have to take care of this. No bueno. Well, I'm back in my little area here and did a quick turnaround to check my transmission fluid level. So I already pulled off the air intake to get a better access and we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna start it up to check it, but apparently it was coming out at a pretty good rate. But I think I decided that uh, driving with my brake on was a good idea going up a hill may have something to do with it but i'm going to make sure everything's okay before i decide to either go back up or come back down and call it a day so i just checked my fluid level of the transmission and it's pretty decent um it wasn't running but at hot it was reading in the in the hot zone <laughs> so i would definitely see fluid uh let's go and take a quick look again down here and don't really see it actively coming out like it was there's definitely oh, maybe a little spot there you can see where it's coming out so i think possibly driving with the parking brake on which is a uh, good way to cause some issues could have caused it to overheat and it might have just been Kind of pressurizing and bubbling through so we'll see but right now it's not actively dripping and definitely what did not last long was my little job and an attempt to tighten this up I'm making noise again so i'm going to tighten this down as well right now well i think i'm going to continue on Started to back up, wiped it down, and I don't see any active drips. So let's uh, go back up the hill, not with the parking brake on, and see how far we get. We'll check it at the same spot. Well, here we go again. Let's try this one more time. Heading back out of the canyon, and we'll get up to that same little viewpoint and check the transmission and see what it's doing. I'm hoping we're gonna be okay. All right, same spot. This was the carnage before, super wet. And we'll see what's happening right now. It's definitely doing a little drippy drip, but not too bad. I think we can make it up. Well, we seem to be doing well. And it's definitely getting up into the pine elevation zone. So far, the road has been uh, great for a high clearance two wheel drive. So Lavan can make it here as well. No problem. And uh, only thing I would say is that with ice, snow, or rain. I think four-wheel drive could help in a few spots. There's a couple tighter turns, but so far so good. Well, we pretty much made it to the top. Let's uh, pull over. This is the very first Yellow Post campsite. And I'm gonna pull over and do a quick check on my transmission. Let's get a little bit more level here. And this is the first site. So apparently there's a few of them up here, maybe 10 or 11. And it is much cooler too. So let's see what we got under here. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. So we're going to go find a spot and park it and not come back down for a couple days. So this is pretty awesome. Way high above the desert. Steep and we're still going. I have no idea where I'm going actually, but we're still going.
lots of interesting signs on the trees and rocks basically saying if it's posted no campfires don't do it because they burn i have stopped at a yellow post and this one seems to have views to the east and the west let my transmission cool down some it's not happy let's walk up and see what this is all about i think we might have a good spot for tonight wow definitely chilly up here and although i see a little roundabout i don't really see a flat spot let's walk back a little bit more it's about 3 45 and it's time to find a spot i know where i'm at on my gps so i'm going to come up this little trail right there swoop around and follow this one so just to let you guys know i'm trying to be responsible so i am soaking up any of this fluid coming out to throw it away so it's not just dripping on the ground made it this is yellow post number who knows but we're at pretty high elevation and as you can see i'm going to have a very nice sunset and looks like there's a good peak right here to hike up on just over there is east view so i'm gonna have a sunrise sunset and there's lots of trails to walk around here and it's getting chilly so time to change out of my shorts and t-shirt and get ready for the evening see the spot is really nice it has a nice little table a leaky van fire pit little trunk table here very cool but no fires i won't even try it we're in the uh, red zone right now this time of year especially so it's just going to be cooking inside and enjoying my view mechanical update time so I decided not to restart and get a little bit more level because it's going to be good enough. And I definitely left a little Hansel and Gretel trail. This will help me get back onto the main road. You can see. Unfortunately, that's what happened. But like I said before, the main meat of it, you can see it looks like a bloody mess. I was able to try to soak it up so I believe it just overheated and obviously something's wrong shouldn't be doing that looking back I'm not sure if I did or did not leave that parking brake on for a little bit but um, either way there should be plenty of fluid in there we'll find out at the end of the trip but it'll enough to get me back home and back in the shop Get this figured out this is my little mini peak hike very mini but there is Toro Mountain got the little tower over there fire station as well fire watch tower the moon right there and this is looking into Anza Borrego desert south and right behind this mountain is the west another little peak i can get to so this is gonna be a good spot really good 360 degree views with minimal hiking so it looks like a little protected from the wind as well Wow, 
What a view. You can see the ocean. Hey everyone, there I am. And this seems to be the highest peak outside of Toro over there with the moon coming up and the sun is setting. It's getting chilly, but this is well worth anything I have to go through to get here. Beautiful. Good morning. As you can see, the weather has changed. Clouds have come in, made for a nice sunrise, and it is cold in the 40s. Lots of wind. I am leaving today. I was planning on staying two nights, but with my issue, my transmission. Well, I'm back inside. It's a little windy out there and cold. So my plan is to get going down the hill relatively quickly. I believe when the transmission warms up, it's overheating and uh, spewing out. So I'm sure it's some sort of seal is not working. And uh, I'm gonna try to get down and uh, make it in little sections. So I'll stop, let it rest if I need to, and then keep heading down until I can get down to the main road and then possibly call a tow truck. Let's see what happens on my way and what i did was take it out of four wheel drive so i'm trying to put as least amount of stress on the transmission as possible so at uh, least amount of work and hubs are free as well let's get out of here i just did a little check and nothing is coming out yet i'm sure everything's still cold but what I'm doing is I have it in neutral and um, hopefully that's gonna have the transmission not work so hard. And this is all downhill. So even though I have some incredible views, I'm, I have a mission here to try to get out. I made it back down to my original spot where I found out what was leaking and nothing's coming out, but it smells a little warm, a little burnt. So we'll just keep it in neutral and keep going down the hill. So I pulled over pretty quickly. I want to let this thing cool down. I can smell it burning. And although it's not really dripping out, possibly that could be because there's nothing left to drip out. But I can hear the pan, I can hear it dripping inside. And so I think there is a little bit of fluid left. Not much. Just gonna let the whole system kind of cool down a little bit more. And then keep going back down. But I can definitely smell it. It's not too happy. Update time on my Santa Rosa mountain adventure. Made it down pretty easily. I stopped a couple times just to let the transmission cool down, but 95, 98% of the time I was in neutral. And um, although I did smell a little burning, transmission definitely is not happy. I did make it down and I was able to put it into gear to go up some of the uphills and there was no slippage, it was fine. 
But right now I'm waiting for a wrecker to come and take me back to San Diego and it's going directly to a transmission shop and see what happened. I believe a seal broke or failed and uh, that's why it started gushing out and I'm hoping that there's not much internal damage and it won't be too much of a expensive fix. Goodbye, Santa Rosa. And we're off. 10 hours, going home. Good morning, 9 a.m. here at Rapid Transmissions. And we have a repair order customer states as they say so hopefully there's not much internal damage and we can get away with about a thousand dollars we'll find out <laughs> 